what's up guys finally back to doing some fish and it's been like three months since my last video i got a few dozen live shrimp we also got our artificial popping cord gotta have the miami dolphin flag let's go fins but the most important thing when you come out here is you gotta wear your florida fishing channel shirt you won't catch shit if you don't have this shirt i promise you look at surface breaking right there little micro bait getting popped and uh i'm out here with get you one fishing he's over here dogging me he's out here moving pretty quick that's what's up i gotta take my pedals out though it's really shallow here fucking bottom out <laughs> Shit, shallow. There it is. I said we get back up. Yeah, I'm gonna walk it. Walk it? I'm stuck. Alright, and here's a quick tip if you'll probably notice in the video I'm doing a lot of paddling over pedaling. If you're gonna come to Chocoloski and you have a pedal drive kayak whether it's the pescador or whatever don't think on low tide you're gonna be in here pedaling your little heart away it's not gonna happen the average depth of chakaloski on low tide is like a foot you're gonna hit four inch skinny water and then it's gonna probably jump into a channel it'll be a couple of feet and then just like that you're gonna hit a shoal and you're gonna wreck your pedal, your pedals. Speaking of getting out of the kayak, do not come to Chakalaski without shoes. Have some good, durable shoes, cause if you do need to jump out of your kayak, those oyster beds are unforgiving. I literally, you probably can't see it and I don't wanna open it. I literally put my hand in the water to just rinse my hand after releasing a fish. I barely grazed one and it sliced my fingertip and it sucks. We're throwing popping quartz. We're fishing about two to three feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to just leave like one foot underneath that cork. You know, you can get these pre-rigged. You can make your own. I'm pretty lazy. So I buy them pre-rigged. You can use even lures with a popping cork. I'm using live shrimp. Chocolaki, man. Chocolaki, papi. First trot of the day, finally. It's a nice size right there. I think he's legal. There you go. There you go. Damn. We can probably move deeper in this channel. Oh, picked up. I see that. Oh, he's making a mess. Oh, he made a mess. Oh! He just went through the hole of my pedals. He was in the kayak and went through the pedal hole. Damn. Got him on. Oh, he let it go. Oh, no, he's there. That's a ladyfish. He's jumping. They're hungry, bro. I'm going to take my artificial off, my DOA, and put on. Uh, it's your world. I'm just living in it. Ah. Oh, I got picked up. Ready? <laughs> That's a nice trout. Another keeper. You're not falling through the hole this time, bitch. I put my foot in it. Oh my God, I'm on. Oh my God. Nice, man. Get it, man. I'm trying to get that big one. That's what I'm looking for. I keep catching like 13 inches. Why 
Are you on? Yeah. You waiting for invitation? I want to make sure he, he bellied it. Yeah, that's why I'm breaking them in half. We got a potential slot on the line, even though snooker out of season. Oh, he's an over. He would be an over if it was season. He's he's nice. Not bigger, but this is bigger than you're expected in charcoal, I'll tell you that. This thing's a tank. It's, it's pounds all day long. Old bucket mouth there. He's just sitting here, he's popping these tiny shiners. I mean, I don't even know if, the, if he fits on the camera. He's wider than my shoulders, I swear. He's like, he makes me look small. I'm gonna let that guy go. If I would've only caught him a little while, uh, a couple years earlier, he would've been an under. Uh, let's talk about what we're doing here, all right? You're not used to charcoal. I'm gonna try to give you some tips. I'm not even used to charcoal. I'm using just basic knowledge that I have. I'm using basic knowledge that I have and combining that with what the environment's showing me. One thing about basic knowledge, when you're gonna sit down and talk crap, put a bait in the water. So I'm gonna put, this is a little charcoal specialty right here. Very popular, popping court. I was, you'll see this later on in the video. Oh, no. I'll talk a little more about it. Now, my buddy, Get You One Fishing, he's using the popping court with an artificial. You don't have to have these live baits, and he was catching fish. It's an effective method. It makes that little bit of noise, catches their attention. All that fish sees is some kind of potential for food. He runs over there, and in his mind, if I don't eat it, someone else will, and they'll crush it. Let's put him... I'm gonna let that there, and I'm gonna free spool that so that cock popper cork disappears. So while uh, that waits for an imminent bite, we were, we, we've been fishing around already. We had a, a hot bite on trout. We found this little cut that opened up into this real nice, uh, really nice lagoon kind of thing. There's still patch islands, there's still tidal flow, so it's not just dead water. Um, which is, you don't want to fish dead water too much. There's still f water flowing through here. So what I did, I'll show you here. If you look behind me, I have this wall of mangroves. And then I have that point, kind of like a finger, like a little peninsula. Look, something right there near my kayak. So what's that creating? It's creating a, a pass creating a little pinch point where current is coming through bait the smaller baits are getting pushed into this area and the predatory fish are gonna sit where right in here you'll if you probably I don't know if the camera can pick it up you'll see the water texture it's flowing and then right after that bend it's a it's really smooth it's really flat and you can actually see bait flickering there why there's no current so if there's no current that little pilchard and Brandon's hooked up. Brandon's hooked up on the up current side. He's fishing the up current. So fish, that's, that's gotta be a snook. What you got there, buddy? Is that a red? Oh my God, yeah. Oh, we got a red on the line. Nice fucking red, bro. Handle that. Handle that, baby. This is smart fishing, even though I don't fish here often. Look at that, you can see it what's going on over there. 
Put him in the yak already. God damn it. Stand in the water, bro. Oh, you're already doing it. You need help? I got him, bro. Well, he handles that. So as this water is flowing and it's pushing the bait, he's fishing up current. I'm fishing down current. I caught that snook on up current. He's on a red on up current. That tells me that these fish are definitely sitting on the up current. As that bait is getting pushed in through this little throat, this channel, they're sitting there. And as they see and they sense food coming through, they're running out and picking it up. It's just thinking as a predator. Here's Brandon landing the fish. Nice red, bro. He beached it. Or shall we say he uh, mangroved it. And it's just thinking of like a fish. If you wanted to get an easy meal, you're not going to sit in the middle of nowhere. You're going to sit in a position that's advantageous to you. What's advantageous? The food that you're trying to get has to come through here because they can't swim against the current. You pick a spot where they have to get by you. And then you pick and choose who you want to eat. Now you can do that. It doesn't even have to be a channel. Nice red, man. That's like a 25, 24. I gotta get you on video. I'll get over there in a second. What's the size oh. on him, bro? Uh, you said 18 to 27. 18. That's definitely over at fucking 18. Easy. That's like 22, 24. I say 25. That's what I said initially, but I think you're long arming a little bit. No, nah, man, that's a nice size. He was fighting so good, bro. I'm jealous, bro. Hey, you got a slam. Yeah, right? I got to get my red now. I caught a little dinky. All right, I'm going to get back to fishing, man. 1827, yeah. I'm going to get back to fishing. I'm going to try to get my red and get my slam. I'm jealous now. You ever seen a pink... A pink and green bait fish? Neither have I. But he ate it. Because fish don't really see colors. It's more about shades, contrast. This dirty, murky water, and then you got these two colors opposing each other. Oh, he's heavy. So. Color selection, is it about the brightness? Is it about the contrast? We don't know. Buy what makes you feel better. Buy what makes you feel confident. But for me, my personal preference when I come here, it's always gonna be this pink and green, pink and green electric chicken from DOA. DOA cow electric chicken. This is a killer out here. All of it, this whole time. All right. Double trout. Hey, get your rod off my rod. Hey, man, you don't touch rods around here. Double trout it up here. That's, oh, look at that. It's so beautiful, right. man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Tim. We literally caught nonstop over 14s and 14s. He came out of so aggressive, he got hooked him in the side of the face. Yeah. Spotted sea trout. See all the spots from the trout family. We got another one on right there. These are these are beautiful fish. We got yellow mouth. They're so healthy. Yes, sir. Another baby. Let's get it. This is insane, bro. This is crazy, bro. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I swear, I'm about to say that. <laughs> Careful, bro. Ah! Yeah, I was gonna tell you. They don't bite, bite, but when they do bite, give you aye aye aye. 
Okay, so here's what's going on here. To the right of us, there's a mangrove off camera. In front of us, there's a pass of water. Right behind us, there's a smaller pass of water, that, but we're standing on the flat. These two passes lead into a channel. There should be fishes on the edges of these current flows, as well as sitting in the channel in the deeper parts, picking off bait fish as they swim by. Get you one fish and saw this and immediately stopped his kayak. I followed suit. And you're going to see here, it was just cast after cast, sticking them. And if you weren't catching them, you were getting struck. The bait's flowing. They're sitting on the edges of the current, the soft spots, picking off their food. You ain't see that. That ain't on video. <laughs> Quick note, if you've never been to Chakalaski, another imperative, imperative thing is to dress accordingly in regards to the bugs. You ever seen Naked and Afraid? And you see these people, they think they're a badass until nighttime and those bugs start chewing them up alive? That is Chakalaski. Day and night, forget about it. You need to, to wear long sleeves, you need to wear long pants, you need bug spray, you need to protect your face, and not just any bug spray, you need one that's going to specifically repel sand fleas, not sand fleas, Jesus, that's going to repel no seams. They're going to, they will make your life hell. Uh, they're, they will just wreck your day. Even if you're fishing, there's not much here, you're in the middle of the water. Let's say you start fishing and you press up against some mangroves to work a spot. Just when you get close enough, one finds you, two finds you, three million, ten million, next thing you know you're in a swarm and you've got to abandon the spot. So you have to be ready to deal with the bugs. You got hit? Yeah. Damn. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, I got a nice one here. That's a wrap for today's fishing. Bye bye Chakalowski. We had two incredible bite windows uh, of uh, spotted trout and ladyfish. I mean, it was just every cast was one or the other. And uh, there's a three bag limit on spotted sea trout. So we're leaving here with six. We easily caught over 50 and some of the uh, the later ones were bigger and we had to let those go you know to not to not waste a fish it was just insane 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 it's all about finding the feeding zone and we got lucky that we ran into a spot get you one fishing he literally said this looks good we jumped out the kayaks we got on our, walked on some, some shallow land there. And we just, it was just every cast. You could, you could not, not get hit. It was incredible. We're leaving with a nice bull red. Yeah, I'm not going to call it a bull, but it was a slot. It's a keeper. I didn't get my red again. Next time, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on.